Hello guys, Miss Street here. We're making some microwavable banana bread. All right, so as you can see here, I've got all my ingredients laid out. I've even got my recipe right here telling me what I need. I've got one cup of flour. I've got a tablespoon of white sugar or granulated sugar, a quarter cup of brown sugar. Now look at that. Remember when you do brown sugar, now I've washed my hands too, please make sure you do that and sanitize your counters ahead of time. I'm going to press this brown sugar down into here. When we're measuring brown sugar, we must remember to press it into our, our um, whatever it is that we're measuring it into. And when we put it out, it should look like a sand castle. So please make sure you press in your brown sugar. I've got here salt, a quarter teaspoon, a quarter teaspoon baking powder and baking soda. Now you probably can't see those things on there, but they are there. I've got one egg. I've got a half a teaspoon of vanilla on top of half a or two tablespoons of oil on top of two tablespoons of milk. So those ones, I just put them all together to try to reduce the amount of bowls and dishes I had to wash. And then I've also got a banana here. I've showed you here that I've mashed some of it. Now the problem here with the bananas, as you can see my bananas, they are not overripe. So this is gonna make a little bit of a different texture, a little bit of a different taste. Um, but at the same time, we can still use, it's still gonna give us that banana flavor. It just won't be as sweet because typically when the bananas are more brown, uh, they have more sugars contained within them. When they're green like this, they contain much more starches, uh, a starch. Um, so it still will work, it just will have a little bit of a different flavor, a different taste. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and add our ingredients. I've got my mixing bowl here and my spatula. I put in first my dry ingredients, which are my flour, my sugars, both of my sugars, and my baking soda, baking powder, and my salt. Please make sure that when you are emptying the ingredients, you empty all the ingredients into the bowl. Don't leave half of it in the bowl or in the measuring spoon or whatever the case may be. You wanna make sure it's all added in uh, so that you get the right amounts. If you, When you're baking, it's like science, and if you have the wrong amounts of ingredients, it won't turn out. It'll You'll end up with a much different effect than what you intended. And it'll flop. And it could flop, Kiana's telling you guys, okay? Kiana's our camera person, camera woman today. So she's doing all the filming. She's really good at this. Um, I really appreciate her help and support here because otherwise I wouldn't be able to do this by myself. So as you can see, we've mixed in our, all our dry ingredients. I've done a lot of pressing down because when I uh, put that brown sugar in there, it was quite hard. And so I have to press it down to kind of combine it together. Next, I'm going to put in, and I can put a little hole. That's a general um, thing that you can do. And I'm going to put in my liquid ingredients, which again is my vanilla, my milk, and my um, oil. And see how I'm using the spatula to scrape it out? That's because I don't want to leave any of those yummy ingredients behind. I'm going to mix that in, and as well as my banana here. So again, get all your ingredients in there. Make sure that you get all those yummy parts of the banana. I'll even scrape it out a little bit more. Don't like to leave any behind. Plus, then that way when you go to wash the dishes, you don't want big chunks of things left in um, in your bowls because then what happens is it ends up just clogging up the drain. So we're going to mix all those things in there together. We're only missing one ingredient, which is our egg. So I'm just going to remind you, always crack an egg in a separate bowl. That way if there's any shells that get in, notice how I tap that. And then I'm just gonna use my two thumbs and pull apart. If any shells do get in, you can easily scoop them out as opposed to if I did that right into the batter, it'd be a lot harder to scoop the shells out of the batter. So I'm just gonna put that in there. Use my spatula to scrape everything out. Now this is going to make enough for um, four small um, banana bread uh, mug cakes or two big ones. And I'll talk to you about how to fill that too. So you wanna break up that egg and kind of distribute it evenly. Your batter should look nice and um, not runny, I wouldn't say, but it's not exactly thick. Now what I've done here is I didn't have cooking spray, which is what the recipe tells you to do. So I just took some of this Crisco here, some of this lard, and I just um, pasted it around the outside so it wouldn't stick, okay? So what you're going to do, you could also, other than using a mug, uh, you could use uh, one of these um, custard cups. The thing is you want to remember is just fill whatever you use 
only fill it half full because if you don't fill it, if you fill it more than half full, what's going to happen is it's going to way overflow inside the microwave. So we're going to put that in quickly for a minute. Can you pause or do we have to just stop it? <laughs> 